Alright, it's Hans Lion Alpha. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Star Road. So, this is my 100% id file. So, I guess there's more than 121 stars. <laughs> Ugh, my nose. There's actually 130, but the last nine they call them um, prototype stars, but still, that's 130 stars. I don't know what it is with these hackers insisting on lying about the number of stars they have. It's just like, oh, big shocker at the end, there's more! Like with Super Mario 74, there was one more. And this one, oh, there's nine more. Top them off. Deep dive in the cage, we can't do this one, so there's one more that involves stepping stones. And I love a couple of stepping stones in the midday. Yeah, so, uh, you hear the hidden number sound, but you don't see the hidden number. I don't know what it is with that. Why'd you hack out my numbers? There's four, three... Sometimes they don't trigger right away, or you just gotta get the spot just right. There's the fourth one. No diving now! I mean, we did select the dive in the cage, but... Yeah, so that starts pretty easy. If you're good at dealing with chain chumps. Okay. So that's all we can do in this level for now. We will return to it when time warrants it. Next we're going into the second level, and I really like the entrance to the second level. You'll see just over here. Yep, it's a uh, an urn. Pots, apples, pots, apples. No, <laughs> no one's gonna get that, except a few of you. Okay, so Womp King, he's somewhat improved. The arena really doesn't matter if you know what you're doing, but we'll just get him, get him, and get out, step on him, and make him grovel again. Or should I say gravel? That was his joke, not mine. It's not funny, because Womp King's not funny. Yeah, see, these neat little holes that are conditionally placed. Either Plumber defeated him a king, just a pathetic stepping stone. Yeah, he didn't deserve the title of king, he was just a pathetic stepping stone. Well, I don't think I'm going to be anything like that, stack of cobble. I'm a whole new slab. Okay. Ugh, no, I didn't time it right. Uh, what? Okay, seriously. This is not... Uh, oh my goodness gracious, you slab of stepping stone! Yada yada yada, McYadderson... Oh, come on. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, dang it. Turn around. Okay. Ugh. Alright. There we go, that's what I want to do. There, see? You just gotta get it, the rhythm going. And you got it. Anyone not know about that glitch? It's just a weird condition that the Womp, Womp King has. He was born with a rare disorder that makes him phase through a bowl if you have ground pound technology within your body. It's not technology, it's just a gift. A hidden gift that you find and then is no longer hidden. But what is hidden in this urn? Climb the windmill. There's another star in this level that also requires the vanish cap. So it's gonna be only six stars in here. If we do so happen to get the red coin star and 100 coin star. Can't guarantee it'll be in this video though. Okay. God, my nose is coming back again. This thing I used to have in all my recordings where my nose would just get stuffed up and. Ugh. I hate it. At least it's more like a soft, like, christening sound and not like the wet, slobbery sound. Uh, okay. Get out of there. Mm-hmm. You can shuffle along those coins, but I can't guarantee you will shuffle along to the star. Okay. So, there's these crates, which act the same as the cork boxes. What? What? Okay, well at least I didn't die. Just get up on there again. 
there's that little like there's like two layers of wall like there's a higher layer and a lower layer I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense but yeah so there's like an edge at the top where the ceiling is it's like a, a ceiling border I didn't hit the switch okay okay we're good well are we I guess we'll find out as soon as you hop on this crate what's in the crate I like sticking baked goods in crates what do you like sticking in your crates share it in the comments or share something about your lawnmower I don't care no don't share about your lawnmower that is inappropriate and it will be flagged the flying stepping stones oh this is another star we can't get because this requires the metal cap which is in the fashion of like Super Mario World where you hit the cap switches and then like pl you can walk on certain paths so that's how that worked. It's also used kind of like that in Kaizo Mario for beginnings so I don't know what the next one is uh... oh I, I know what the other one is that we can get it's down on the next path. I actually like this level. This is one of my favorite levels. I just like the atmosphere I'm not a terrible fan of some of the later levels, except the last one, because the last one actually is uh, a pretty decent challenge. And I said earlier that uh, this game isn't very challenging, but some of the later levels, mostly it's just the last level that's challenging. But some of the stars have their moments. So that's where the vanish cap is needed. I guess our desire for it right now will also vanish. There it goes. There goes our desire. Wave to our desire, everyone, as it glides off with one of those sticks and handkerchiefs picnic things that is what you do when you're running away from home or something. Yeah, wave goodbye to that. Long-winded explanation of it as well. Okay. So this just opens up the gate, and we die for a piranha plant in victory, which we didn't kill, but we still dough for it. That's all that matters. Nine coins, nine groins, nine stars behind the bars. Okay, that was good for us. So good. So good in the pot. Whoops, pressed a little wrong button there. Alright, there's still one more star we can get, or two more stars we can get, which are the groin stars. There's one. Most of them, well, maybe only like half of them, are on rooftops, like Santa Claus. Let's grab the Santa groins. Santa groins. You look so mighty fine with your loins. Oh boy. I think I might get a new toy. Santa groins. So hurry down and give me your star. I'm gonna go this way first. Uh, I just like these little floating hexagon platforms with the little grass. And I like the coin rings. Uh, I'm seriously gonna rip my nose off, put it in a blender. And you know what I'm going to do to that blender? I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to destroy my nose for all the crap it's putting me through. Okay. Goomba? Hey, hey, yeah, I'm here. There you go. I'm proud of you, Goomba, for following directions. This one's risky. Oh, is it? No. Not if you're good. Okay. Some groins on a little... What is this thing? What is this thing? Anyway, what did you do to this underwater area? Well, let's see. It's a little little ramp. Little for underwater skateboarders. Those kids today in their hijinks. <laughs> Always getting into new sorts of trouble. Uh, okay. Vanish Cap, I loathe your non-existence. Okay, more groins. Blue groins. I got the blue groins. Okay, that's enough singing for one episode. There's gonna be a lot of sing just because some of the music. He has good choice of music. Music? Uh, that's the what my nose has done to me. It's making me say bees unwantedly. Okay. 
I hope this uh, segment isn't laggy because uh, Camtasia was kind of freaking out because I've recorded so many videos already today because I recorded Glover in several different sections because I didn't want to just like have to cut a bunch of times in the editing software so I hope it doesn't affect the quality but as long as we have quantity and boy do we look at that 60 groins that is a quantity if I've ever seen one okay how many red groins do I have I don't know oh there's one this one almost got away from me until I used C up. Well, alright, you there. And I believe uh, there is not an invisible wall here. I believe you will fall off if you go over the roof. Okay, and that one. Okay, six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got all of them thus far. Ooh, uh, right on him. Right on his back. I'm a good chiropractor. I just made his whole spine shrink with that, along with his brain and soul, but I, I, I'm a good chiropractor. C come and visit me. Okay. Shit. Ugh. Okay. Alright, we are pretty good. Pretty good. Beautiful good. Alright. Let's see if we can just get the last two red groins, and those will be the only coins we get, so, uh, so we can get the hundred coin star and the red coin star at the same time, because that's always a pretty sight to see. To behold the eye of the beholder. Okay, don't. There's another one that's kind of risky to get, but not so much. It's not so bad. Like I said, if you know what you're doing. I hear some people are already trying to... Uh, uh, already trying to I say it was no hassle to get back up here. I say I love c collecting groins. I said I say I say. Okay. Now. Back to perfection. Okay. Freaking Lakitu. Really wants me dead. And, oh crap. Ah, uh, Lactu gave me groins. Guess I'm not gonna be getting them at the same time. Yeah, these Womps. I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, the Womp King, uh, he slams down a lot faster, and so do the little ones. They mimic him. Come on. I'm not getting one of these groins over the pit, because then the star will be over the pit. You see where the problem lies? Get around by turning, as in turn around, you know? You know how to turn around? You know how to turn around? Kick in the back. Kick in the bandage, it must hurt. Your stepping stones start graveling, Grovel. Oh my goodness. Do I need to turn around? I know he turns around eventually. Ugh, crying out loud. What are you doing? Okay. Let's see if I can make him jump. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do this, man. I'm not gonna do this. Fine. I... Wait. No, he's not doing anything. I... will, in fact, get one over here. There we go. And now I can get my red groins, respectively. The one where the Womp King was and the one inside the windmill. Okay, not going for that one. <laughs> no, I'm not dying now. Although it wouldn't be too bad because I just have to get the red groins again, and they're not so bad. And I say I love collecting groins. I said I say I say again. Okay, six. No. Oh, I'd never got the one on the. Yeah, I didn't get the one over there. Crap. Sorry. Okay, and now we collect the one inside. Gotta have one indoors. Just about here. Oh crap. I overestimated myself, my speed and trajectory of that wall jump. 
I don't think I didn't even need to use the wall jump. I, I could have just done like a something in here, like wall jump in here and do that. But we got it. <laughs> okay, and we're done with that level four. Now there's two stars left to go. And I guess before we end, I can show you uh, one of the hidden stars, which is uh, a toad. Gotta have your toads. Yeah, so... Gotta have climbable roofs as well. Can you even pluralize roof? Roofs? Roofs? I don't know, and there's a cannon. I don't know why, but for every cannon in this game, it, it he hacked out the the first uh like part of the. Uh, ugh, I hate that. I hate how you're like so close to making it, and that was not four HP falling, not even close. Oh 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 yeah oh yeah. Oh, 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 we stand, we stand, we stand in the yellow flora, and we stood, we stood, we stood in the yellow flora. Okay, so, just aim one step lower than we did last time. There we go. Always works out. What are you staring at? I'm not stuck. I was just admiring the view. Anyway, I found this star up here for you. I felt like I should do something in return for all the help you give us, Mario. Thank you. And there's one twelve stars. That is like three four star movies. Good. Saving now. Saving on a bing bang goodbye on the roof. <laughs>